لا خیر فی کثیر میں نجوا ہوں دیر از نو گڈ ان موسٹ آف دیئر سیکریٹ پارلیز اینڈ سیکریٹ ٹاکس نجوا ٹو تھری پرسن گوئنگ اوے اینڈ ٹاکنگ ٹو ایچ ادر دس از کالڈ نجوا یو شوڈ سی آؤٹ واٹ ہیو یور ہیو ٹو سی ان دی اوپن بٹ یو نو گروپنگس دین انٹریگس دین سٹنگ ان ڈفرینٹ کارنرس اینڈ دین یو نو دے آر ٹاکنگ ٹو ایچ ادر دس از کالڈ نجوا لا خیر فی کثیر میں نجوا ہوں ان دی سیکریٹ میٹنگ اینڈ سیکریٹ نیگوسیشن اینڈ سیکریٹ یو نو پارلیز اینڈ سیکریٹ ٹاکس موسٹ آف دیم وی آر ود آؤٹ اینی گڈ الا بٹ دیر از این ایکسیپشن الا من امر اب صداقت ان ایکسیپٹ فار فار دیٹ پرسن ہو ہو کمانڈ سم ون ٹو گو سم تھنگ ان چیریٹی ہاؤ ٹو آسک ان پبلک از ناٹ گڈ اف یو پرسویڈ ان پرائیویٹ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ہیز گون یو ویلتھ یو شوڈ یو نو اسپیئر سم تھنگ فار دی کاز آف اللہ فار دی کاز آف دی پور تو اف یو آر ڈوئنگ دس جاب پرائیویٹلی اینڈ سیپریٹلی دین اٹ از گڈ ون ایکسیپشن اللہ من امر اب صدقت ان او معروف ان اور اینی ادر گڈ ایڈوائس از بینگ گیون پرسنل ایڈوائس اف یو ایڈوائز اے پرسن ان پبلک دے بی ہی فیلس افینڈیڈ ہی تھنگس ہم سیلف ٹو بی سپیریئر ٹو می so he is advising me but if you privately go and tell him that this is better for you and this attitude that you have taken is not good it would have been much better had you taken that attitude so that is also an exception how is lahim bainandas and the third is when you are trying to bring some reconciliation between two parties there also you are required to talk to them separately then come to the other party and talk to them separately so these are the three exceptions All other secret negotiations are without any good. لا خیر فی کثیر من نجواہم الا من امر بی صدقت او معروف او اسلاح بین الناس ومن یفل ذالکا Whosoever does these three things or one of these three things ابتغا مردات اللہ And in doing these things actually he wants the pleasure of Allah سبحانہ وتعالی That Allah be pleased with me فصوف نوتی ہے اجر العظیمہ تو سچ اے پرسن اور تو سچ پرسن وی شیل گیو ویری ویری بگ ریوارڈ ومائن یو شاکی تیر رسول ناو دس از دی لاسٹ آیا آف دس پیسج وی سٹارٹڈ فرام آیا نمبر سکسٹی ان ویچ یو نو ایکچولی ان ڈائریکٹلی دی منافقین آر بینگ ایڈریسٹ دیز آل یو نو ڈیزیزز ویچ ہیو بین کنسیڈرڈ اینڈ ڈسکسٹ ہیئر دی وری دی منافقین ومائن یو شاکی تیر رسول Whosoever becomes hostile towards the messenger of Allah. That was the last stage, you know, because just as you know, TB, tuberculosis, had three stages. First stage, second stage, third stage. And when, you know, somebody had gone to the third stage of tuberculosis, you know, then it was thought now it is incurable. The same way, you know, Nifaq, first stage is telling lies, making lame excuses. Second stage is... Now you are swearing by Allah. Wallah! I wanted to go. Actually, there was this reason I couldn't go to the, to the battle. And third is, you feel enmity for the Muslims and especially for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He had put us in this difficult position because he has started this movement and by this movement, now there is a conflict in Arabia. Now there is wars are going. And we are required to go to fight. And this is actually all due to him. So there was personal enmity towards Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the hearts of the munafiqeen. And enmity towards the Muslims. Good Muslims. Why? Well, they are always ready to go. Whenever there is a call, they respond positively. They don't look to the right or the, ra to the left. They don't see what are the risks involved. And they are ready to sacrifice everything. So actually... Because they respond positively to every call. We become prominent because we are not responding positively. So actually they are to blame. So these are the two reasons of shikaq. And this is the highest level of nifaq. And when nifaq reaches this level, it becomes incurable. وَمَنْ يُشَاقِقِ الرَّسُولَ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ الْهُدَى Whosoever becomes hostile to the messenger of Allah. 
after the guidance has been made manifest and evident. Now it was, you know, at least 17 years had passed from the beginning of Wahi. Most of the Quran had been revealed. All the guidance has, has come to you already. When all this guidance has come to you, and even now, if you are hostile to the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and whosoever is following not the way of the Muslims the way of the Muslim is when they are called they say Labbaik when they are called to spend they bring everything they have and contribute this is the way of the Muslims so actually whosoever is hostile to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and who is, whosoever is not following the way of the Mu'mineen we also turn him, turn him in the direction in which, which he has himself chosen. He has chosen the direction of hell. Well, hell to you. Go. Now we don't care for him. Now we don't want to bring him back. Now he has taken this direction. He has reached that level of nifaq. Let him go to hell. And we shall throw him in jahannam. Wasat Masira and it's a very bad destination. So this is the final, you know, in this long passage starting from ayah number 60 and it has come to ayah number 115. It has been discussing all, all this passage discusses actually nifaq and munafiqeen and the various diseases in them and the various forms of manifestation of nifaq. But this ayah is important in another way also. And that is, you know, it is the basis of the authenticity of ijma in Islam. You know, the sources of Islamic law are number one, Quran. Sources of Sharia, Quran, number one. Sunnah of the Prophet, number two. And ijma, number three. Ijma of the days of the Prophet, ijma of the days of the companions, ijma of the period of Khilafat al now, this has been accepted by all four schools of fiqh among the Sunnis, Hanafi, Maliki, Shafi, Hanbali. They all accept the Juma is the third source of law in Islamic Sharia. But Imam Shafi says, I wondered if Ijma is so important, why there is no mention of it in Quran? And Imam Shafi is a big scholar. And he is actually the founder of that discipline of Usul al-Fiqh. This discipline started with Imam Shafi. So he says that I read, I went through Quran 300 times only to find any place with, to which I can point out that this is the basis of Ijma. 300 times I didn't find anything. But now on the 301st chance, my eyes, you know, stopped here. Here is the place of Ijma. Sabilul Mu'mineen. The way of the moments, the way of the believers. It becomes authentic by itself. And this is Ijma. وَمَنْ يُشَاقِقِ الرَّسُولَ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ الْهُدَى وَيَتَّبِعْ غَيْرَ سَبِيلِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ نُوَلَّهِ مَا تَوَلَّا وَنُسْلِهِ جَهَنَّمَ وَسَعَاتْ مَسِيرًا